ready. So today I'm going to be making a studio light. Uh, it is actually temporary. So I have a studio light box and an old lamp and it works honestly perfectly. So yeah, it's very bright as you can tell because my camera's kind of whizzing out. Um, yeah, so if you want to learn how to make that, then stay tuned. All right, so you really want to start off by changing your light bulb to white light, but mine didn't work, so I just went ahead and left it alone. And yes, this video slowed down a whole lot, but otherwise it wouldn't make sense if it was fast. So I deconstructed a cereal box, and so with one half, I ended up cutting part of it. Um, you can see me doing that now. Uh, so I created the back part, which I cut it to the size I wanted my box. If you had one that was your preferred size, then you would just use that. And then I cut another part uh, and used that as the top, and I made sure I used the flaps of the cereal box on the sides to make sure it was nice and reinforced. And so you can kind of see me gluing that on there right now. And I also taped it as well to make sure that it was extra sturdy. And then with the other half of the cereal box, uh, which you can kind of see me doing a little bit about right now almost, this is supposed to be coming up soon, I don't know. And so I just cut one half uh, of the cereal box in half, and so uh, it had tabs on either side, So I, because I cut it long ways, short ways, I don't know. <laughs> I cut it to where it was equal and had tabs on both sides, and so you have the side tabs which are identical on each side, and so uh, you can see me gluing those in and taping those in, making sure it's nice and sturdy. And so then I'm going to end up cutting it to make sure that the light angle's right. Okay, so now you're gonna go ahead and let the box dry. I glued and taped it. And so if you see the red lines here, here, and then I have one down here for when the lamp's gonna go, I'm gonna cut it out. I'm gonna be cutting off this flap this flap and cutting out this circle to let the light bulb fit in. Um, you don't have to have the diagonal edges, you could just leave it, but since I do art videos, I kind of have stuff angled down, so I wanted the light to be kind of shooting down. So this is kind of how it's going to work out. So yeah, go ahead and let it dry for a minute, and then you can start cutting because you want to make sure it's fairly sturdy before you start cutting on it. Or you could go ahead and plan ahead and then cut before you put it on together, but I wasn't sure how I wanted to do it until now, so yeah. So while I'm waiting, I'm probably just going to be eating lunch, watching YouTube, and finishing up the sketch for next week's video, so be sure to check that out next week. So now that it's dry, I'm just going to be cutting off the edges, and I am taking white computer paper and covering the entire inside of the box. And you could also cover the outside, but it looking pretty isn't a huge deal to me. And so for that hole that I cut out, um, I'm cutting the little flaps on the paper and folding those over so that it's not just a square, like, crinkled line. All right, so now I have my box completely covered on the inside, so now it's completely white. Uh, it still looks like a cereal box in the back. Um, so if you wanted to, um, I would have spray painted the back first, but I don't have spray paint. You could use acrylic paint, but I was not gonna wait for all that to dry because it's not a big deal to me for the whole thing to look great. Um, and of course you could always like flip it upside down and then spray paint it and you wouldn't get the inside messed up except I would watch out for that hole. But you could easily take a piece of cardboard and like just tape it in there and then start spray painting. So you could either do that before the step or after the step. So yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and let that dry because I want the paper to be completely dry and then I'm going to take packaging tape and kind of reinforce the sides because since it is just a cereal box, uh, cereal boxes are made out of what's called chipboard, which is like really thin cardboard. So it's pretty much just layered paper. So I kind of want it to be a little bit reinforced since I'm just using normal school glue and scotch tape to kind of like keep it secure. And I want it to withstand maybe a bump or two because my cats are, get pretty wild sometimes. So yeah. All right, so with this, now that this is dry, you can of course paint the back or do something with it. But since there's this little hole, that's what's gonna go on the base of the light bulb. Yeah, let me fit it in there. It's kind of tricky because you want it to be a little smaller on the edges so it'll hold in better. So it's gonna be like that. And so I have this piece of a pizza box. And so that is going to go on the bottom of the studio light so that it'll support the weight of the rest of the box and it'll be able to sit on that light bulb a little bit better. 
Um, you could have done this first, I'm deciding to do it last because I just now thought of it. So yeah, that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. And of course, you could always change the shape of this studio light because it depends on what you're doing. You could do it kind of in a pyramid shape and that would work. Um, you would just have to have a base on it to go around your light bulb or something. So yeah, there are tons of different ways, like shapes you can do your box. It kind of just depends where you want your light to shine and how you want it to reflect. So I'm basically cutting out the same shape as the bottom of the studio light. I'm just making it a bit more boxy. And here I'm covering it with computer paper because I just want it to look a little bit nicer because I care about looks just, just a little bit. <laughs> and now I'm going ahead and using packaging tape to reinforce the flaps and sides of the box. So you're gonna go ahead and take your base, which again is just kind of like a little rectangle with a cutout for the light bulb, and really make sure it's secure on there. You wanna press it in as much as you can. And I did leave a flap just to make sure that it wouldn't fall backwards. This, this kind of helps it. And then I'm gonna take the little box to shine the light and I'm gonna put that on, on top of it. And at this point, you can kind of decide um, if you want to tape the base to the box or just leave it. I'm going to probably tape it just to make sure that it is extra secure. So I'm using packaging tape for this as well and so I'm just securing the base to that original studio light box that we made. So with this you could actually put packaging tape on the inside to make it a bit more reflective but I think I'm going to try it regularly and then see if I want to change my mind later on down the road. Alrighty, so to set it up I just have it plugged in right now and so you just take the box and whether you want to make it permanent or just temporary you could tape it on or use a wire or something. So I'm just going to that on there make sure it's nice and sturdy and of course I'm probably going to end up just taping on that cardboard piece to make it stay but honestly I don't even need it since I added that base so now I can just turn it on and there you go it doesn't shine back it completely shines forward and it works like a studio light and so this is great for my videos that are shot pointed down so there's plenty of since I have this di diagonal line there's plenty of light coming down to the sides, not much going up because I don't need it. And it's all angled down where my paper would be. So yeah, I think this works perfectly. If you want it to be prettier, it can. If you just need a light, you can do that. And again, it would probably look a lot better with a white light, but since we have this white paper on the outside, it really intensifies it and kind of minimizes the whole warm light thing. So yeah. So this is without the light, and this is with it. You can really see that it illuminates the space a lot better than just having it plain, like having a light in the room on. Alrighty, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm actually using the studio light right now to light up my face, which don't have makeup on, so you can kind of see everything, but honestly, I don't care. So yeah, and I really, really like this project, especially because it's stuff I already had, and <sighs> kitty. Sorry, he's meowing. It's pretty much recycled materials, almost. He cannot, like, he can't make, he can't let me film in peace. All right, let's just keep you on the outro. <laughs> so, the lamp I already had, so that was a resource that I had. It still had the light in it, so that worked perfectly fine. I used computer paper, which you could honestly, I mean, a lot of people do have computer paper. It's really, really cheap. Um, you could use poster board if you wanted to. Um, and then a, res a recycled cereal box and a recycled pizza box, which we would have never reused those if it wasn't for this. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Please like and subscribe and comment if you like this.